Hi everyone, it's Miss McKinney. Today's phonics lesson is going to focus on syllables and two types, open and closed. We're going to start with a warm-up, just listening to the number of syllables that we hear in different words. Watch me first. Pencil. Pencil. I hear two syllables in the word pencil. Pencil. Listen to this word. Probably. Probably. There are three syllables in the word probably. I want you to do this with me. Say the word remember. Let's clap the syllables that you hear in the word remember. Remember. You should have heard three syllables in the word remember. Say the word someone. Clap the syllables in the word someone. Some one. You should have heard two. All right, do this one on your own. Say the word tomorrow. How many syllables do you hear in the word tomorrow? There are three. Very good. Say the word door. How many syllables do you hear in the word door? There's just one. Door is a one syllable word. Say the word yesterday. How many syllables do you hear in the word yesterday? Did you count three? Very good. All right, now we're going to get into different syllable types. I want to start by having you guys look at a couple of picture cards. I have the word exit and the word tiger. These two words have more than one syllable. And remember that a syllable is a word part or a word chunk that has a vowel sound in it. Every syllable has to have a vowel sound in it. All right, we're gonna start by looking at the word exit. The word exit is a two-syllable word. Here's my card. And remember before I said that we were going to talk about two different kinds of syllables. Well, the word exit has two closed syllables. Closed syllables are syllables that end with a consonant and that has a short vowel sound. Watch how I break this up. Exit. Eggs it. That's where I'm going to divide the word exit into syllables. The word exit, the first syllable is X. It ends with a consonant. It ends with the letter X. And the E is short. It says E. Eh. This syllable, it, is also a closed syllable because it ends with a consonant T and the vowel I says it. It's a short vowel sound. Now, let's look at our next word, tiger. Clap tiger with me. Tiger. Tiger. I'm going to divide this word here. This word has what we call an open syllable in it. An open syllable ends with a vowel, and the vowel sound is long. So if you look at the first syllable in the word tiger, it is tie. It ends with the vowel I, and it is a long vowel sound. It says I. The second syllable, ger, is an R-controlled syllable, and we'll talk about those later. The two that we're going to talk about today are closed and open syllables. Those are the two most common types of syllables that you're going to see. That means that you're going to see those more than any other kind. So remember, closed syllables end with consonants and have short vowel sounds, and open syllables end with vowels and have long vowel sounds. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick that you can use 
to help you divide words into different syllables. It's called spot and dot, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to spot my vowels. First, we have to remember what our vowels are. A, B, I, O, U. Sometimes the letter Y will make a vowel sound. So I'm just gonna throw that one up there, okay? Let's look at this word here. I see two vowels. I see an I and I see an E. So I have spotted those, that means I saw them, and I put a dot under each one. Now, I'm going to look, I'm gonna kind of look right between those two vowels, and I see two consonants. I'm going to divide my syllable between those two consonants. My first syllable is I-N. It ends with a consonant, so that means that my vowel sound is going to be short. So I'm going to pronounce this N. My next syllable also ends with a consonant, and so I'm going to pronounce this E as a short E, E. S -ect, sept. This word is insect, insect. Why are we doing this? We're doing this because sometimes we see words that are really long and have lots of parts or syllables. If we know a way that we can break them up into smaller pieces and we know what the vowel sound is supposed to sound like, this will help us to read those long words that we don't know, especially if we don't have a, an adult or someone that can help us to read the word with us. Let's look at this word. I'm gonna spot my two vowels here and here. I'm gonna draw a little bridge. And I'm gonna look on the bridge. I have two consonants on my bridge. So I'm gonna divide my word right here. My first syllable is closed. It ends with a consonant. This is going to have a short vowel sound. This syllable also ends with a consonant. So my vowel sound is going to be short. T N ten this tennis. This word is tennis. All right, I want you to look very carefully at this word. It has two vowel sounds, so it's going to have two syllables in it. But watch carefully how we divide this word up. I see a CK in the middle. CK, we know, goes together and makes one sound. It says K. So we are not going to separate those two uh, consonants. We're going to keep them together. So we have to decide if we want to separate our syllables before the CK or after the CK. So I have to decide, is this first syllable going to be tie or is it going to be tick? Well, let's look at the rest of the word. I have ET. I know that this E is going to be short because it has a consonant after it. So it's going to say et. So is this going to be tie ket? or ticket. What do you think? It makes more sense for it to be a short vowel sound, so we will divide this word right here after the CK. And remember, we're keeping the CK together because when those two letters are together, they make one sound. K. All right. So we just did a whole bunch of practice with uh, closed syllables. Now I want, we're going to do some words that have long syllables or open syllables, excuse me. Look at this word here. This word actually has an E, an I, and an E. But this E does not make a sound. This is a silent E at the end of this word. Remember that each syllable has a vowel sound. So these two go together. They're a vowel T. So we're going to look between these two, the E and the I. There's only one consonant there. So I have to decide if I'm going to divide my syllable before the consonant or after the consonant. I'm going to go ahead and tell you on this word, we are going to divide it after the uh, vowel. 
so before the consonant. And because I have done that, I see that this syllable ends with a vowel and the vowel sound is long. So I'm going to read this as fi. And then I know here, because it has a silent E, that this is going to be a long I. So I have line. This word is feline. A feline is another word for a cat. Let's look at this one together. Do you see the two vowels? Okay, I'm going to draw my bridge. And I see two consonants. We normally would divide between two consonants, but this is a consonant blend. So we can normally read those together. So that tells me that I'm going to divide before the consonant. So my first syllable is going to be an open syllable and the vowel is going to be long. So this syllable is C, crit, secret. One more like this. Two vowels, one consonant in the middle. We are going to draw our bridge and we are going to divide this one before the consonant. So this is going to be a long O in an open syllable. Toe, kin, token. This word is token. All right, we're going to get into some more practice with more words. All right, so I'm going to need your help on this, which I know is hard since this is a recorded lesson. But what I really would like is for you to try to tell me, and I'm going to think about what you might say, but I really want you to participate in this lesson. Look at the first word. What vowels do you see? A, I. Very good. I'm going to draw my bridge. What do you see on the bridge? Two consonants. Do those two consonants normally go together as a sound or as a blend? No. So we're going to divide this word between the two consonants. And that shows us that we have two closed syllables. Both syllables end with consonants. And so that means that both syllables are going to have short vowel sounds. So we have nap, kin. Put those together. What is our word? Napkin. Very good. All right. Come to this word here. What vowels do you see? E and O. I'm going to draw my bridge. What do we see between those two? A double S. That does not go together. We can separate between the double letters. And as you see, we have two syllables. They both end with consonants, so they're going to be closed. Less, sun. Put that together. What is our word? Lesson. Very good. All right. Let's look at this word. What uh, vowels do you see? A and E. I'm going to draw my bridge. We can divide between these two consonants here. Again, both of our syllables end with consonants, so we know they're going to be closed. So let's read together. Bass, kit. Put this together. What is this word? Basket. Very good. Let's look at just a few words at a time. On this word here, I see two vowel sounds. I see an O and I see an E. I'm going to draw my bridge. There's only one consonant between those two letter letters. We are going to draw before our consonant. Our first syllable is an open syllable. It ends with the vowel, so the vowel will be long. O pen. This word is open. Very good. Here, do you see the two vowels? U and A. Okay, I'm going to draw my bridge between those two. I'm going to break it up before 
the consonant M. So that means that this is an open syllable. So what is this syllable going to say? Hugh, the U will be long. Hugh, men, human. Very good. Let's do one more like this. Remember that each uh, syllable has to have a vowel sound. And also remember what I said about the letter Y. Sometimes Y, especially at the end of the word, makes a vowel sound. So between these two vowels, I have one consonant. I'm going to break up this word into syllables before the consonant. My first syllable is B-A. The A will be long. Bay, B. What is the word? Baby. Very good. Now, on this line, I'm going to let you all do most of the work. All right. Look right here. What cons or what vowels do you see? The U. The Y will make a vowel sound. Yes. I'm going to draw the bridge. Where will I divide this word? You see two ends on the bridge. We're going to divide it between those two. Look at the first syllable. Is it open or closed? It's closed. I'm going to go ahead and write a little C above that. Look at this syllable. Is it open or closed? I'm going to write an O above it for open. So the first syllable is, and then put it together, sunny, sun, knee, sunny. Very good. All right. Where should we divide this word? We will divide it after the letter O. Is this open or closed? Open. Is this syllable open or closed? Closed. So we know that this will be a long O and this will be a short E. I want you to look at the two syllables and then blend them together. What is the word? Frozen. Very good. Frozen. Frozen. All right. Find the two vowels here. Draw my bridge. Divide it here. Very good. Open or closed? Open. Open or closed? Closed. Read these two syllables and put them together to make a word. Yes, this word is pilot. Very good. All right, I have a sentence that we are going to read that has a few words with open and closed syllables. All right. Some of these words you all should know. Actually, you know what? Let's go into the syllable types or the multisyllabic words, and we're going to break them up here and here. Draw the bridge. We're between two T's, so we know we can divide. What kind of syllable is this? It ends with a T. And what kind of syllable is this? It's also closed. Cotton. Cotton. Remember that we're not going to break this up, and I'm going to go ahead and help you out. Is this closed or open? Closed. This one is also closed. So we have jack it. Jacket. And the last one right here. Two T's. We will break those up. This is a closed syllable. And this is a closed syllable. So I have at, tick, at it. Let's read together. There is an old cotton jacket in the attic. Read it with me one more time. There is an old cotton jacket in the attic. Very nice job. All right. 
Pause the video and get ready for your dictation. Find a piece of paper and a pencil.